Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. From a technical point of view, Elden Ring's HDR implementation is actually pretty good. As you can see here right now, when we analyzing the very beginning of the game, we have actually no problem with the HDR black level floor and on the other side we have very bright specular highlights. But as always, that's just one side of the story. Nothing has changed in regards of the HDR presentation since I made my first video about this game roughly two years ago. At least that's what I think, that's what my impression is right now. But of course, it's always very hard to compare a very old video with a recent one or with new findings because now I'm using better tools, I have more experience and of course I'm using better TVs actually. I mean, I'm not saying that my LG CX from back then is a bad TV, but I think you get my point. So again, it's very hard to compare my previous video, which is two years old with my new findings, but I have the feeling that again, in regards of HDR, nothing has changed. What we also need to consider is that I just tested a game on the Xbox series. So I was not able actually time-wise to test the PC version and I have no access to the PlayStation 5 version. So that's all my findings are actually relying or are based on the Xbox Series version. So keep that in mind. If you find a difference to let's say PC version or PlayStation 5 version, then just put your findings or your experience in the comment section. Thank you. And because nothing has changed in regards of HDR, we still have no HDR system level support, at least not on the Xbox Series, but I'm very sure the same counts for the PlayStation and the PC. So let's talk about the settings what we have to adjust HDR in Elden Ring. So first of all, we have the brightness setting, which is the yeah, changing the average picture brightness or also changing how much details you actually can see in your yeah, darker areas. Then we have the maximum peak brightness setting, which as always is responsible for the yeah, maximum peak brightness in specular highlights. And then last but not least, we have the saturation setting. And with this setting, you can either have a dark and white picture or a very oversaturated picture. And before we go into more details, what each setting is actually doing, let's talk about the factory standard setting when you start the game for the very first time. And what I have to say is the standard factory setting is actually not too bad. That means even you wouldn't change anything, you wouldn't have a very bad experience. But as always, it can be better. And now let's take a closer look on each setting what we have in the game and we starting with the brightness setting and we also including the HDR black level floor in this discussion. And what I found is actually very interesting. So when you start a new game, you start in this vault, in this arch or whatever you call this. And yeah, as I mentioned at the very beginning of my video, there is literally no issue at all with the HDR black level floor, even even we increasing the brightness setting to plus 10 to the maximum setting, the HDR black level floor is still pretty good. Of course, I would not recommend to use brightness 10 because the rest of the picture is washed out, but you get my point. From a technical point of view, there is no issue with the HDR black level floor at all in this game. But as soon we step outside and we are now in the open world, the whole picture actually changes and the picture actually looks washed out. And this is most of the time the case, at least where I tested the game. And yes, I get it. The game is very big, so don't take my word gr for granted because maybe it changes again. Maybe it's just the time of the day. Maybe it's just the weather. But I found that there is a very big difference in certain areas when we're talking about the HDR picture quality. So sometimes you have a very good contrast and the HDR black level floor like in an arch or vault is very, very good. But then on the other hand, you have a very washed out picture where you just think something is not adding up. And I'm not just talking about the HDR black level floor. I'm also talking about the maximum peak brightness in some specular highlights and by the way the maximum peak brightness is limited to 2000 nits and what I found is that some specular highlights are not reaching the maximum peak brightness what you have set in the game I mean don't get me wrong that's not what we should expect anyway but the problem is in this case here that I have the feeling or not just the feeling the whole picture sometimes looks very flat washed out and yeah I'm missing in the outside world or open world, 
a really good HDR black level floor and also on the other end, very nice specular highlights. So again, not all of the specular highlights are limited, but most of them. And this makes the picture looks very washed out and yeah, in my opinion, very flat. And last but not least, we have the saturation setting. And what I found is personally, my opinion is that with setting five, the game looks a little bit too colorless, but that's just my opinion. On the other hand, also what I found is that if you like to increase this to let's say seven or eight, you get actually more DCI P3 and BT2020 colors. So again, the saturation setting is absolutely up to you. You would not increase the maximum peak brightness or you would not change the HDR black level floor with the setting or what you change is yeah, how much color you like to have in the game. Okay, so let's talk about my recommendation in regards of the best HDR settings to play Elden Ring. And we're starting with the brightness setting and my recommendation is actually do not touch it. And the reason for that is actually very simple. I found the standard factory setting five is actually spot on most of the time. And yes, I know, in theory, you can actually increase the setting without losing or without actually raising the HDR black level floor. But this is just true when we're talking about very dark areas like in caves, because in the open world, you will just actually yeah, raise the whole picture or the brightness of the picture and you will also have a more washed out picture the more you actually increase the setting. That's why my recommendation is if you don't need to change it, don't touch it. For the maximum peak brightness setting, I have actually two recommendations. So the first recommendation is very simple. Just increase it to the absolute maximum level, 2000 nits, regardless of what monitor screen or TV you're using. Because what I found is again, most of the specular highlights are not reaching a maximum peak brightness setting anyway. And yeah, if you have for some reason, you know, some specular highlights which are now displaying 2000 nits, you would need to look very closely to see actually the clipping. So this is the very easy setting. The other setting is to make it a little bit more yeah, correct or to more precise for your screen, just follow this table. And my recommendation for the saturation setting is very simple. Increase or decrease this value as you like it because you will not destroy the picture. Or what you do is actually you add less or you add more colors. And what about HGHG, Dynamic Tone Mapping On and Dolby Vision? So let's start with Dolby Vision first. This game supports Dolby Vision on the Xbox Series but not natively, that means you should not expect a complete different picture. All what is happening is actually Dolby Vision will use the HDR10 metadata and then display the HDR picture in the Dolby Vision picture mode. So that's all what is happening, okay? If you like it, then just go for it. I personally prefer HGHG in most of my games, but here in Elden Ring, I found myself switching to dynamic tone mapping on from time to time because I found the general picture just slightly too dark. But as always, it's your decision. If you like dynamic tone mapping on, just go for it. If you like HGHG, just use this. Okay, my friends, so that's it for this video. I say thank you very much for watching me. I hope you like the content. So please make sure you like, share and subscribe. And yeah, let me know in the comment section what you like to see next. So maybe there is a game what I missed. And yeah, just put in the comment section what you like to see in regards of content. And I will try my very best to make it happen. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.